What's up, everybody? Welcome to uh, this week's extended edition of the weekly update. Uh, I missed last week because we had the hackathon and I didn't want to take any uh, attention away from the projects that we're building. So I don't actually have the results yet. Uh, that's going to come out in a separate video. The judges are still reviewing. Um, as I have here on the screen, the first place prize is going to be 10,000 SIG USD. Uh, the second place prize, 6,000 SIG USD. And the third place prize is 2,000 SIG USD. For those of you that don't know, SIG USD is uh, one of our native stable coins. It is backed by an excess reserve of ergo, so it has stayed stable uh, even in extreme volatility. Uh, I do know that Dan is going to be offering a secondary uh, 1000 erg or SIG USD prize, and I'm going to be doing the same. Uh, I wanted to wait until the results came back. We had a lot of good projects that I'm going to cover, and I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, we kind of spread the wealth, uh, whoever gets first, second, or third. I didn't want to pick because, you know, there's enough um, good stuff that came out of the hackathon. There's no point in double dipping. So um, once I get the results back, I will pick uh, my own project that, uh, let's say I will find some reason. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff out there. I'm still not exactly sure how I'm going to come to that conclusion, but when I know, I'll know. We had two projects that worked on tooling. Uh, the Delphi project is working on putting together a framework for community oracles to come together, which is a really powerful thing. Um, I'm hoping that uh, as they expand, um, I can actually plug in a couple of opportunities into the community and uh, see more oracles that are ran by the community in a decentralized way and also offer some incentives. We also had Ergo Castnet. Uh, basically, it is a Petri net for smart contract orchestration and testing. Pretty cool thing to see. Um, I'm always a fan of the visual frameworks uh, for uh, smart contracts. I think it's something that kind of opens the door for devs that are new. Uh, and speaking of that, we actually had, I believe, three developers that came from the Ergo Learn program, which is a community funded educational program. Um, and I believe all three uh, really put together some neat stuff. So considering uh, most of them were new, you know, six or eight weeks ago, uh, to be able to participate in the hackathon and actually produce something, uh, I have to give my props to the Ergo Learn team uh, to be able to prepare them for that. And I have to definitely give my respect to people that are willing to hop in and accept new challenges. So the Petri net um, is a framework that, you know, potentially we can uh, get the smart contracts that we're putting together and dApps putting together uh, conceptualized and understand the workflow of how that's going to happen. Uh, definitely a very unique project. Uh, that's some pretty cool tooling. So we also had Sky Harbor. So Sky Harbor is a NFT auction house. Uh, basically, they were born from um, kind of the frustration that's occurred in our ecosystem with our open source auction house. Uh, part of the difficulty has been scam NFTs. Um, sometimes when you are decentralized, uh, you need to, uh, let's say, understand that security can become a little bit more complex in some situations. And we have actually had people that, uh, you know, bought something that they thought was authentic. Uh, it turned out not to be. And the community has been building tooling. Uh, we actually had a couple of projects that could potentially address this issue uh, in the hackathon. But Sky Harbor decided, you know, we're going to um, try to create a solution for this. And so what they did is they uh, put together their own marketplace um, that is going to be a little bit more curated, controlled, and hopefully uh, deliver value and real <laughs> projects to um, the Ergo community. You know, I do think that uh, being that there actually has been real damage here to some users, 
um, even though they have decided at this point that they're going to have uh, closed code, I think there's a lot of value in at least having a safe environment. Now, one thing this does open up that's actually exciting is it opens up a marketplace, right? We now have two competing NFT auction houses, and hopefully um, that creates some extra incentive for the Ergo auction house, the original one, uh, to address that issue. I know there's some ideas that have been in development, but it's nice to have a safe alternative. Um, you know, that's something that has created real world damage and this is, you know, security hackathon. So, uh, props to you guys for putting together a solution. Let's see. Next we have Guap Swap. Um, Guap Swap is a tool for miners. It's a pretty neat uh, tool actually. Basically, it's going to allow um, miners to interact with the decks as they mine. So you have the ability to mine SIGUSD. Um, I believe they have the potential to uh, expand this to other assets. So you can kind of mine and automatically have it swapped via smart contract to a DEX. They've put in a pretty nice uh, UI, at least uh, the mock-up for now. And that's a nice idea. You know, it, if a miner is going to be moving into an ecosystem uh, with the expectation to invest in another asset anyway, this simplifies it to where it also kind of builds on the smart pool concept that Ergo is making possible uh, with the assistance of GetBlock and tooling like this. I think uh, smart the whole smart pool, pool concept has huge depth in terms of uh, the applications that can come out of it. After that, we have Aneta BTC, a uh, nice little uh, logo angel baby thing with glasses. <laughs> so in Aneta, uh, BTC has worked on their uh, front end. They've created an Aneta wallet, landing page documentation, and an airdrop to a dApp called Tosidrop which is a seamless uh, airdrop feature for the community. Now looking at uh, their front end, it looks like they can connect the Euroi wallet and the Nautilus wallet. Um, it looks like they're putting together their own uh, unique wallet, which should be pretty good to support the assets and functionality that they want to build into their dApp. Now, it looks like they've also been putting together a airdrop tool. And it uh, looks like they have an official landing page. And their website is going to be uh, updated at some point. Uh, we got some documentation, which is always nice to see in terms of how you know the protocol will work and what their plans are. So great job, guys. Uh, for identity solutions we had ergo dns so basically what they're working on is a uh, dns solution uh, for ergo names uh, this actually does have a pretty unique use case and potential in terms of uh, preventing fraud you know especially if you're able to um, plug this into the open source auction house that is a potential solution it does look like they've put together a front end um, and they've put together some code documentation that's uh, open for review so really nice really nice to see um, I was pretty excited to uh, watch them put this together now we do have uh, two actually competing projects that uh, are working on stealth addresses Basically, self address preserves the recipient's privacy. Um, there's a couple of different frameworks. It looks like one of them uh, is going to be. Yeah, so it looks like this one is going to be working on top of the mixer. The other stealth address is going to be uh, potentially built into wallets. Both are really interesting. Um, privacy solutions, which this is the privacy and security event. And 
I do think that uh, both have uh, definitely use cases that uh, can bring privacy to users. Now we also had um, three wallets participate. We had Nautilus, Safe Wallet, and Satergo. I believe all of them have created the binding and integration necessary for uh, ledger support. Now I do know at this moment uh, there's one additional feature we're working on adding to Ledger and that is pay to script. So you can pay to smart contracts from your Ledger. That's something the community has wanted. Um, we're working with the team right now that uh, helped us put this together. All three are ready for integration and then we'll deliver that to the community which is really nice to see. Hopefully uh, we get Yeroi um, together as well. Now I did skip the gaming part, that's my bad. We'll cover Night Owl, which is pretty interesting. It's a framework for an open source casino. Now I think the most interesting aspect of uh, what they're putting together is that users have the ability to both be the house in terms of providing liquidity and they have the ability to be uh, the gambler. So who knows, maybe there's some uh, spread <laughs> where some people will be both the house and the player. I do know that uh, moving forward, you know, they want to have the ability to uh, plug in custom made games. So if you're a game developer in the community and you want to create some incentives, uh, it's a potential partner to um, really build out kind of like a multi gaming platform on top of Virgo, which is really nice to see. Plus, uh, they want to integrate with the mixer and provide privacy tools for people that uh, may be <laughs> breaking whatever their you know local rules are. Um, you know, that's always up to the user. Manage your risk. Uh, you know, if you do something, cover your tracks. Don't tell anyone about it. I don't know anything, right? So it's up to you guys. But uh, great job, Night Owl team. I'm sure that uh, a lot of people will be excited to uh, play the coin flip game in roulette. Can't wait for it to come out. I think that'll be great. Uh, next, we have Hypotenuse, who has uh, created a game called Quid Games. I guess that's a play on Squid Game, which I've never even seen, but uh, people have talked about it, right? I pretend to know what's happening, I really don't with that kind of thing, too busy. So it looks like they're working on their MVP build. Um, they've got their front end together. Uh, they're still working on it. it looks like uh, it's going to be excited to see what they produce. If we want to look at their front end, um, quit game. Looks like we're playing even or odd. And uh, it does look like they've set up some uh, wallet connection or at least have started. So that's nice to see. It looks like on the back end. Yeah, it looks like they've done some good. work in terms of setting up their initial backend. So we'll see what they come out with. It's exciting to see uh, two gaming platforms coming out on Ergo. So, you know, uh, most of these uh, projects, pretty much all of them deliver some value. And uh, I would say have some use case in terms of privacy, security, um, you know, tooling certainly does. It's hard to say, to be honest. Oracles, you know, that's the brain for smart contracts. You know, if you can do oracles in a secure way, you can get smart contracts to execute securely. Having a framework for smart contracts, uh, you know, assist them in being built correctly. Sky Harbor is, uh, you know, approaching an existing problem that's created some existing damage. So I definitely think that falls under the security. Uh, Guap Swap, having a secure and fast way for miners to uh, let's say mine multiple assets in the future. Aneta BTC 
Same thing, bringing in cross-chain liquidity. Now we have seen some hacks, so building that the right way is important. Uh, gaming, both fall under privacy. Um, the DNS solution could potentially solve some problems that we've been having in terms of scams. Stealth addresses are both very powerful privacy tools. And, you know, all of the wallets working on Ledger, um, you know, hardware security and to users is pretty huge. So, whew, I've got my work cut out for me picking a winner. Let's see what the judges come out with and uh, then I'll decide. So let's hop into um, the weekly update. So we first are going to cover the uh, weekly update from the 9th. We're going to start with Green Hat. Uh, basically, him and the Sigma Rust crew have been working on uh, Nepo Pals, uh, the P2P layer, um, also the, how the node is going to sync using uh, Nepo Pals. Now, Green Hat has also been working on uh, upgrading a bug that we found in the BIP 12, which is the Bitcoin improvement protocol, uh, that had a minor issue with some people's keys not being uniform across wallets. I do believe at this point that's been patched. Um, Anon Burr has been working with uh, the Hackathon group for code refactoring for the Ledger binding API and uh, assisting Captain Nemo of Nautilus Wallet. Mr. Stahlfelge, uh wrote a developer tutorial on how to use ErgoPay. Uh, he came out with a really great webinar video that I would recommend uh, anybody that's interested in watching how the workflow is for ErgoPay versus a traditional um, browser-based wallet. Uh, watch that video, it's pretty neat to see. Give some additional security when you're able to use ErgoPay and sign from your cold wallet. It uh, looks like 1.6 with ErgoPay is now in staged rollouts, uh, at least as of the 9th. Um, it is already available, I believe, at this point. Uh, he implemented some open enhancement suggestions. Uh, looks like the next features will have some enhancements regarding tokens and uh, the public key interchange. <clears throat> Mr. Stahlfelge has also been working with uh, the app kit and software development kit that uh, Ergo Core uses. Um, so they found the uh, BIP32 bug. Um, looks like they have made a request, I believe at this point. Uh, it's already been patched. It uh, looks like as a side note, basically you have certain community members that uh, complain that they can't make a new transaction while they have unconfirmed transactions open in their wallet. Uh, they blame Ergo's TPS, but the reality is it can be solved for most people if there's a way to determine if boxes are spent. Uh, so if uh, you're able to patch that in the um, software development kit or the app kit, uh, basically your wallet can potentially call the box ID and see if it's been spent. If that's the case and you have multiple boxes in your wallet, you can put forward multiple transactions. Now, another thing that's being implemented into a couple of wallets is chained transactions. Um, I'm not 100% sure where every wallet is, but um, I'm sure somebody somebody gave an update, so I think we'll run into it as we move along. Uh, Louis Vatra has been working on the staking contracts. It looks like he has it um, in the playground. Uh, he did a great job recording a video covering the basis the basics of ergo script, uh, talking about kind of the functional programming involved uh, for the contracts he's putting together and how the different registers and ergo tree uh, work together to create security in UTXO or extended UTXO. So uh, please watch that if you're interested in learning how ergo script works and how to work with ergo trees. We have a new design for Sigmaverse that uh, is already live. Uh, we have a new Explorer, and I believe, you know, and maybe in the next week, 
Yeah, maybe a little bit longer. I don't want to put anybody, let's say, on a deadline that uh, they didn't commit to. But our website is coming together really well. Um, so that will give us new flashier front ends kind of across the major uh, major applications that uh, are connected to Ergo. That's something we've been working on for the last couple of months, and it's really nice to see that uh, roll out a lot more professional, I would say. In terms of the node development, uh, Alex pushed a new um, reference client, 4.0.23. It contains some fixes for uh, basically where the node may get stuck. Um, put a transaction size limit for the mempool, fixed some NepoPal proofs, and uh, added some performance improvements. And it looks like he's already got uh, 4.0.24 spec and uh, is already working towards that. He's also ordered some uh, PRs in Sigma, uh, ordered a new Explorer server, which we're going to be setting up, and reviewed some DeFi contracts from across the community. And now we hear from Scalahub. He's uh, working on a debug issue for the app kit. Uh, the extended Oracle core for Oracle 2.0 contracts are under review. And Dexy is on the way. Looks like uh, Money David pulled a couple of PRs that he's been working on. Uh, and he's also working on Ergo Improvement Protocol 0021, which is about genuine token verification. Uh, Lado Pixel who uh, has ergotutorials.com created uh, two new tutorials, one of them in English, one of them in Spanish, for installing the Nautilus wallet and how to create a wallet. Looks like he's still working on uh, 8 bits, which is the, um, I guess, multiplayer now from the looks of it, multiplayer uh, game for learning about Ergo and you know what the Ergo ecosystem is all about. It's a really nice teaching tool for people that uh, you know want to go and walk around in the game. Noob777 uh, built a Python library for Ergodex price data. Basically, um, you know, a API uh, as well, so people can uh, basically call the pricing. I do think that Ergodex is going to be building their own API. Um, I think uh, I think wallet developers will probably wait for that just to try to keep their build a little bit lighter. But in the meantime, it is really nice to see this type of community tooling coming together for Ergodex. We've seen a lot of uh, improvement with the user experience uh, probably in the last month. Um, you know, the DEX is working pretty well with all the wallets, and now we're getting price data, um, charting, tools coming from the community. That's really nice to see. Looks like Anon 2020S is working on a new mixer build. The stealth address backend is finished by the participant team. He's working with them to update the UI and provide the required tools. Uh, the Ergo profit sharing development is going very well. I guess uh, he's working with MHS on that. Morphic uh, is working on Scorex. Uh, worked on the PR towards 5.0. Is working on building out the app kit. Uh, reviewing a couple of things. Working with uh, developers across the system. And uh, he did some editing for the just-in-time costing article. And so that's uh, what Morphic's been working on for a while for the main part, is the march towards uh, 5.0. I'm excited to see. I believe at this point the article's already out. So if you're interested, um, I believe it's on our blog. So MHS is uh, working on the Sussy Bridge. Um, I'm not quite sure where the development of that is. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Wormhole um, ha was exploited on Solana. So 
I imagine um, the Sussi team is first and foremost understanding what happened and trying to work to mitigate any liabilities that uh, may be in their build. That's something that's uh, important. You know, luckily, um, it happened to somebody else, right? Uh, because we were planning on building a bridge to Solana, and so uh, it's important to make sure that that exploit wouldn't be possible for something that's bridging into our ecosystem. Otherwise, our community is at risk. So uh, in that sense, you know, kind of the post-mortem autopsy of what happened is under review. Um, you know, maybe that will create... Uh, some solutions, maybe it's something that we need to pivot and implement something else. But uh, if that's the case, it's better than, you know, creating a risk for our users and community. Looks like MHS is also uh, working on a Ergo Cardano bridge. I believe that is being spec'd. Uh, he's working with Ilya to potentially create a UTXO specific bridge between Ergo and Cardano. Looks like he's training a new talented dev with a pretty good knowledge of Solidity and Cardano. And hopefully she makes the future bridge development much faster. So um, I'd like to welcome his new dev to our ecosystem. Uh, hopefully in time we get some updates from her. That'd be nice. Looks like he's going to add ErgoPay and Nautilus to the Raffle, DAP, and the Faucet. And is designing some upgrades uh, for both. Uh, Nod Nautilus, uh, two weeks ago, went uh, live with their public DAP connector, which I believe at this point is live and perhaps even has gone through a iteration or two in terms of uh, support. It looks like, you know, I know they're working on Ledger at this point. Um, I believe most of the work is done. So we're just waiting on the uh, P2S upgrade. On to Ilya. Uh, he's been working on off-chain services to uh, execute orders from the mempool. He's worked on the Explorer. Uh, I know that uh, they're prototyping the Ergodex Layer 2 scaling protocol solution, which I believe is going to be uh, multi-chain. So um, Ergodex will actually sit on top of multiple base layers and uh, provide a much faster user experience in a layer 2 environment. It looks like the Ergodex core team has been working on the analytics um, slippage prediction. Uh, looks like they're doing some research into stable pools and are improving their front end. Josenek says hello and he's been testing 5.0 for uh, finalization. Looks like there's a couple of things that are being worked on, but uh, it's nice to see that come together. Next, we have an update from Night Owl, who I believe I covered earlier in this video. Um, they finished creating their homepage, finalizing the liquidity game, the swap mockup, uh, the structured front end. I guess they have a Discord betting bot. That's pretty neat. It looks like they're going to be testing it under large load. They're working on the ErgoScript contracts. I believe a lot of this uh, came together for the hackathon. Next, we hear from Haley PDLL. Um, Safe Wallet is a really nice alternative to Nautilus. I'm really happy to see uh, not only one functional wallet um, in the browser space, but uh, now we have two community wallets. So it's opens up that paradigm where now it creates kind of competition and I really do hope to see both of them compete to deliver value and a good user experience to uh, the community. I've played around with both. Um, I really like both. <laughs> you know, they have some slight differences. I do believe Haley PDL is uh, a little bit farther along with integrating ErgoPay. And I do think uh, at this point uh, you can uh, at least start playing with the Ergo Mixer from a uh, browser-based wallet. I do know that Nautilus wanted to try to create some out-of-the-box solution for that. So, you know, wonderful. We're going to see some competition there. And uh, 
I hope both of them end up delivering a great user experience and really lowering the barrier of entry to the, that privacy tool. Uh, Sigma Valley still building out their digital real estate in their, uh, let's say, little metaverse they're putting together. It looks like they have um, integrated with multiple wallets. I believe they've created a plain banner that uh, allows you to um, put text and kind of have the little airplane fly through the valley. Pretty neat to see. And I think they've also, at this point, implemented a billboard to where you kind of have the community uh, marketing to where new projects or users uh, can kind of send messages into the universe, the metaverse <laughs> and, uh, you know, advertise or promote different things. At this point, we see the Screaming Ergoat Wine Club. Next, we hear from Low Key Nerd. He's been working on a trading card game using Ergo to uh, facilitate the digital ownership of their assets. It looks like their white paper and tokenomics um, have been released. It looks like the in game currency is still uh, being ironed out. They've got a new version of their website. Um, they've set up a Discord and they have over a hundred members, which is pretty, pretty nice to see. Uh, looking at their initial sketches and design, you know, it's pretty high quality artwork in my opinion. So I'm excited to see what they're able to put together. Next, we hear from Gitblock. Um, they have launched their voting contracts and UI on Mainnet. Their voting period uh, is already pretty well underway at this point. I believe it uh, will end by the time this video comes out. Uh, they've added block data table to the UI. Um, they've added some s additional stats. They're working towards the final stage of proof of vote. Uh, working on NFT development for subpool launches. Uh, they're in discussion with other Ergo-based projects about potential partnerships. That's really exciting to see. Um, ABC Chris has been helping with the API endpoints on the Explorer. AB Chris. Uh, has been doing some great work in terms of building on APIs and uh, building visual tools. Uh, if you've seen Ergo Watch, um, that's a really beautiful website that was put together by him and a couple of uh, people that like to grind out data. Now we also have uh, AB Chris's um, submission, uh, Delphi, which is a really powerful thing. So yeah, huge props are deserved. Uh, looks like they launched GetBlock.io Chicken Nuggies token. Um, I believe that came from a community member or perhaps one of their teams. I can't exactly recall. Uh, but, you know, they were blockless for a little bit and someone asked if they needed to sacrifice a chicken and then they hit a block and now they have Chicken Nuggy tokens. So there's a nice little story behind that. Next we hear from Ergo Lend. Uh, they hit a big milestone on the 10th of February where they had their first full end-to-end uh, -end transaction to where they had the um, basically transaction was submitted or initiated uh, through the contract, uh, lended and repaid. So that's uh, really great to see. Looks like in the coming week they're going to keep uh, testing, working that out, set it up, test uh, the contracts a little bit more and put it on a server. So congratulations, guys. So let's get into the developer update uh, from the 16th, Wednesday. It looks like Lado Pixel, uh, who has put together ErgoTutorials.com. Pretty much every week I give him a plug and say, you know, if you're new to the ecosystem, check out his website. Uh, he's put together basic user tutorials in multiple languages. That uh, looks like we have a new one in English uh, about Ergodex uh, interacting with Nautilus Wallet. And that same uh, tutorial is available in Spanish as well. Looks like we're also catching up uh, on Italian translations. Special thanks to uh, Luigi uh, for putting in the work in Italian. If you're out there and you have, um, let's say, language skills that you can offer, I'm sure that Lado Pixel would be happy 
to uh, expand the multilingual tutorials he's putting together. It looks like Safe Wallet um, has been integrated into the mixer, and uh, Ledger integration was completed at ErgoHack. Uh, it's still something that uh, I believe is being tested, since uh, every once in a while, um, looks like there's a pull request here to ErgoDex, but uh, that wallet is coming together pretty nicely. I've used it myself. Uh, I think that it's kind of, uh, let's just say, it doesn't have the popularity it deserves. So great job on the build, Haley PDLL, and good job at ErgoHack. Really nice work. Looks like the latest from Sigma Valley is they released their airdrop tool that allows you to send uh, tokens to a huge number of wallets. I believe they uh, successfully dropped 10,000 outputs in one transaction. So that's one send to 10,000 different wallets uh, from Nautilus Wallet. That's pretty impressive. And uh, from what I heard, the uh, Comet team is uh, going to try to double that at some point in the future. Let's see. It's a pretty big airdrop. Uh, Mr. Stahlfelge had a busy week. That's good to see because he's always building quality stuff. Uh, looks like he opened a PR for EIP4, a support to the app kit. Um, looks like everyone minting or using tokens should take a look and uh, provide feedback. That's pretty important for a lot of uh, NFT uh, projects out there. So get eyes on that if you can. Let us know uh, what you'd like to see. Um, it looks like there's discussions uh, with Morphic in terms of streamlining the Node API and uh, Explorer API client in the future to make it more flexible or source agnostic and uh, create some uh, better documentation and um, overridable data where it's fetched from. That would be huge. So I, I look forward to see how that conversation progresses. Uh, ErgoPay 1.6.2204 uh, rolled out to users. It looks like he's also working on 1.6.2205 with some minor changes and fixes on GitHub. Um, it's not released on Apple yet, but it looks like it's on Google Play Beta. And probably the most important thing to look at is this is bringing uh, chain transaction support, which is pretty big deal. Uh, he's currently implementing X pub key support and uh, is working on some enha enhancements for tokens and NFTs. It also looks like we may have an EIP uh, coming soon uh, that could add support for an optional purpose text for transactions that could be shown in the transaction list when sending uh, tokens. Uh, Ergodex uh, is getting some support from Curbside Profit. It looks like he's put together a visual tool. Uh, looks like there's been multiple iterations and community support so those of you out there that are interested uh, drop him an update. You know, I will say that a lot of the times if you're willing to uh, put in a request on people's GitHub, it kind of makes them excited that there's community support. So um, feel free to hop on and give suggestions to developers, especially the ones that are open and asking for uh, improvements. Next, we hear from Louis Vatra. He made some small improvements to the staking contract. Um, I guess there were some gaps in the unstake transaction case. Uh, it's good to see that being debugged and improved. I uh, for finished the first version of the staking backend in Python. Uh, no big issues. It looks like they were testing the front end DAB connector and found an issue with pay to script input boxes that uh, Captain Nemo from Nautilus Wallet hopped on and helped him fix. So. It looks like interaction with staking will require Nautilus 1.10. Uh, if you're going to be uh, staking, um, please download that particular build for support. 
It looks like all of the transactions, state, emit, compound, unstake, and partial unstake, have been tested on mainnet. Uh, looks like there's also some review or feedback that's uh, needed from Alex and MHS. And once that comes in, it looks like that'll be live soon. Great to see. Good progress, guys. So as I was saying earlier, the BIP32 secret key um, issue has been patched. So it looks like uh, after a couple of house cleaning tasks, uh, Green Hat is going to be diving into the new Oracle uh, implementation. That's pretty exciting to see. I really hope that uh, Delphi, the project from ErgoHack, is able to uh, upgrade and support uh, Oracle v2 the Oracle v2 implementation uh, because it's something that as our ecosystem grows it would be really nice to see a group of uh, you know Oracle partners coming up you know hopefully if you can build reputation uh, we can have projects uh, look at people's history as an Oracle provider and spin up their own pools based on participants that they choose so uh, there's a certain incentive to do a good job and potentially earn more business in the future as an Oracle provider. Um, Night Owl Casino post hackathon. Uh, the full house contract is designed, developed, including the swapping mechanism with the mixer integration, the liquidity pool, the custom casino game design, and the roulette mechanism. Looks like there's mockups completed for all of their uh, front ends. Uh, looks like they're cleaning up some code on that. Uh, the final step of ErgoPay integration and uh, work with supporting Nautilus Wallet has begun. Uh, looks like we might see a uh, basic version released soon. That'll be very nice to get some testing in. You know, hopefully we don't uh, get people jumping in too quickly. We get people that are willing to test the swap, test the roulette. And the most important lesson of gambling is supposed to be always uh, bet what you can afford to lose, right? So hopefully people don't go too crazy with that. Manage your risk and uh, try to be responsible. Now, I know this is crypto and nobody's going to listen to me with that, but... It's good to throw out there. Next, we hear from Morphic, who's still on the march towards the 5.0 upgrade. Um, it looks like he's been working on some app kit updates, as well as uh, he did a security audit on the next Ergo Wallet app release. Um, and he's been working with uh, multiple devs. So he's going to continue the march towards 5.0 that's uh, a pretty big update for us Scala Hub is dropping some big ideas uh, this week uh, basically we have a more efficient variant for the mixer essentially uh, making the non-interactive mixer more non-interactive uh, I believe right now you need to uh, be actively online in order to mix and uh, he's playing with a new framework that changes that next we hear from Kai uh, from Ergolend it looks like the back end deployed for beta testing uh, the full transaction is uh, done and working they're continuing to going through their testing uh, mechanisms to look for security flaws and have uh, completed a contract audit request. So if you're willing to uh, hop in there and uh, look in their contracts, everyone, that would be helpful. Looks like in the coming week, they're going to play with SIGUSD lending, which is our stable coin. Now ErgoLearn is uh, prepping their students for the final project. And it looks like the students will be presenting a multi-level transaction system in two weeks' time. The three teams are GwopSwap, uh, Schrodinger's Cat NFT, and Collateral Lending. So 
um, everyone that's interested in being there for the first batch of Ergo Learn students uh, submitting their final work, please reach out to uh, Kai or Chris Ray and uh, show up and give these uh, developers some support. It's pretty nice to see them uh, going from, in some cases, having no experience to actually producing something. Uh, looks like Alex is uh, giving us an update about EIP27. He's finishing the wallet upgrade that will be associated with that. Uh, then the activation part. Uh, the testnet is uh, going to be launched pretty soon. And the text and documentation uh, are going to be updated as well. So it looks like for the node, he's assembling a new client, uh, 4.0.24. Uh, the client is about fixes, but some performance enhancements will be reviewed also. It looks like it's going to... <coughs> improve the sync a little bit. Nice to see. Uh, in other matters, he's looking through multiple pull requests, reviewing staking contracts. Uh, he's looking at the new mixer scheme, um, helped out the ergo hack teams a little bit. Uh, he made a nice forum post about an updatable multi-sig pattern. And he also made a video for the summit, uh, ergo as a platform for cryptographic applications. So please check that out when it uh, drops live. Noob seven 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 seven. Hope I got all those sevens. It looks like he has upgraded the DAP support for ErgoPad. So Uroi wallet and Nautilus wallet both will be working. Uh, the multi-address dashboard for ErgoPad has been updated as well. Anon twenty twenty S released uh, V four of the mixer. It looks like he's reviewing the stealth address implementations that came from ErgoHack. Uh, he's created a token FEMX, um, which is the mixer token that he's going to distribute uh, to hackathon participants, community members. He's just going to try to spread the love all around. And uh, it looks like he's also been finalizing the profit sharing dApp. After this, we hear from Pragmaxime. He's been working on smallish improvements, uh, limits on how many wallet unspent boxes are loaded, uh, preventing stucks from resetting the delivery tracker and improving the performance of box processing. So it looks like we got some nice network uh, improvements. Smallish, I guess, but improvements nonetheless. Uh, we hear from MHS big news here is that uh, he's finalizing the design for the Ergo Cardano bridge. I think uh, next week we'll get some details about that. And he has started the faucet upgrade. So we hear from Kai again and the class videos from the Ergo Learn uh, V1 series will be available after they're edited. Um, I believe after the course is done. We'd love to have some guests come and check out the students final presentation to show some support. So I believe I already covered that, but still it's good to reiterate. Um, you know, we had some people come from the community, uh, hop into learning Ergo script, and uh, it's really nice to see the uh, certificate of completion for our first uh, community driven course. So I wanna congratulate everybody involved and uh, take a moment to uh, give props to the people that set that up. Great job guys. It uh, looks like Captain Nemo uh, has delivered the uh, ledger integration. Uh, he added passive code injection to avoid conflicts with Uroi, and that should allow multi-wallet implementations. Uh, he pushed a new update, uh, version 0 0.1.10, to the Chrome Store, and uh, I know that he was uh, all around an ergo hack. Uh, excited to help the different uh, participants to support the wallet that uh, Nemo is putting together. 
Next, we hear from Ilya. Uh, the Ergodex team released their mempool tracking feature. Uh, they implemented Ergodex orders backlog with fee auctions. The core team uh, has been building out their APIs. The research team uh, is continuing to look into stable pool implementations. And uh, the front end team is working with multi wallet support and uh, fixing some bugs and uh, getting some performance improvements in place. After this, we hear from Anon Burr. Uh, you know, the ledger is something I've covered a couple of times. <laughs> it looks like uh, he was also pretty active during the hackathon to get uh, ledger integration and testing. Um, I believe all three wallets were able to um, complete the integration and the testing. Uh, not much from uh, Dimitri this week. It looks like he was sick. I hope you're feeling better, Dimitri, if you're watching this. Uh, looks like the mobile Sigmaverse design is done. Still working on uh, the main page of the Explorer. And he reviewed a couple of blog posts and checked some issues with Sigma and Ergo's website. Next, we hear from MG Pi from Ergo Sapiens. They've made a lot of improvements on their back end. Um, personally, I've been understanding the app kit better, so that's being integrated into their site. They're going to build ErgoPay support into their website. Uh, the back end for ErgoPay is complete. Uh, looks like they're working on the front end to add new features to their website. It looks like mobile users will be able to seamlessly buy NFTs via Ergo Mobile Wallet. And it uh, looks like their future goal is to mint an NFT via the app kit and uh, get some smart contract implementation. Apparently there's a long way to go, but you got to start somewhere, right? So good job. Uh, next we hear from AB Chris. It uh, looks like he's been working on a new indexer for Ergo Watch. It's called the Watcher. Uh, he's getting pretty close to a version 0 0.1 release. You can go take a look on uh, his GitHub. And he will refocus on Ergo Watch a bit after Ergo Hack 3. Uh, then back to the Delphi Oracle project, which will probably benefit from the new indexer as well. Nice to see. From low key nerd, uh, in comparison to last week, it looks like we're getting some updated uh, graphics for the card game that he's building. It looks like they've finalized their card faces. Um, please ignore the text formatting, that's probably still something they're working on. But that's a pretty nice uh, design milestone. You can kind of take a look at uh, what their trading cards are going to look like. Next, we hear from Rob from GitBlock. It looks like they're monitoring their uh, pool and voting token distribution. They're preparing proof of, proof of vote contracts for the final vote on February 20th. They're mapping out a framework for subpooling. It looks like they're working on uh, finalizing the new user interface with uh, improved code and uh, improved responsiveness overall. And it looks like they're going to be putting out a video at the Ergo Summit. So those of you that are interested, please tune in. Uh, there's already been a ton of great content dropped. After that, Anon Real hopped on and said on his end, they are finalized the Ergo Team approach. In the final version, bots are introduced and more importantly, an Ergo Team token. The token will be used by users to pay the DAP fees. The bots will also be paid uh, in this token. So stay tuned for uh, more information about the bots. They've released the contract testing approach using the app kit. Uh, hopefully the hackathon teams found it useful. And uh, the auction house is improving. The back end is already integrated with the front and the speed has increased increased quite a bit. Sometimes there was uh, user complaints about it loading a little slow. 
It looks like more improvements for loading artwork and adding thumbnails are in development. So Green Hat has drafted the SPV client workflow using UTXO proofs. Um, that's under review. That's a pretty big milestone for the SPV build. And it looks like that hits the end of the update. Um, thanks for spending the time to go over two weeks of updates and the hackathon projects. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too thick. Um, you know, we had a lot of great content come out for the Ergo Summit. So I would recommend uh, if you're interested in learning more about the variety of videos, hop onto our YouTube channel and take a look. Have a good one, everyone. <laughs>